sacrificing at what everybody knows him for as a means of aggression, where, as we won't get to finish it out, but yeah. he's utilizing his placement on the ledge and his placement generally very low to the ground and very low to the stage to then allow himself to just do things like that. He made make a Make a big play at a very spontaneous moment. However, somehow, Mr. E was ready for it, and somehow, everybody's alive. <laughs> somehow, yeah. I mean, I think it's really interesting watching John play against, like, Mr. E. You're dead. You're dead. It's really interesting watching John play against Mr. E because Lucina has such an oppressive presence at the ledge and off the stage, which is where John, as you said, like, that's where he, like, stacks the layers, right? Yeah. Um, so it's always interesting to see these two play, like, the interesting song and dance. It usually results in a lot of goofy-looking stuff, like you've seen here, where, you know, um, moves will fly. Yeah, just a couple scrimblers. A couple scrimblers. Yeah. Maybe even a bimblo, if you're lucky. <laughs> For a treat. <laughs> ah! That's the second time he's done it. <laughs> UFO. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's it's valid, right? Like the oh, it for sure is neutral air dodge. How do I put this? The strongest overarching uh, defensive options for the entire cast are, are typically spot dodge and neutral air dodge, which are both some of the biggest option defensive options you can punish if you read them. Oh, that what was untechable. That was so beautiful from numbers. It was really good. And yeah, I mean, he just swung. And that's kind yeah. of what I was saying earlier, where people will kind of die in situations you won't expect because these two are playing constant mind games over when to swing at the ledge, what to do at the ledge type of thing. Like there, like John goes for the get up attack. And a lot of people will be like, why would he get up attack there? But it's all just like, I don't know. You're like, it's kind of like eventually you get to like the level 500 mix up, but it's just like the level one mix up type of thing. Yeah, I mean, it, it all works out on, hey, get up attack in, the, in scrappy ledge, uh, ledge drop type of scenarios three times <laughs> is like, it's an option with a lot of invulnerability. Like at some point, at the end of the day, what John's fundamental strategy is abusing is character invulnerability. Not being, him being able to hit you and do you not be being able to hit him? That comes in the form of ledge hang, get up attack, forward smash, uh, we fit up smash, and to a lesser extent, the pull back and let go of forward smash. It does matter though. Like it um, matters because if if we can look at this okay, so well good. they're this getting so they're getting right back into it, so we can't actually look at the forward smash kill screen. But yeah, well. You can check it out. It's a trade. Yeah. But without the wind up of the forward smash, he's getting clean hit. Yep. So, you know, little things. I'm interested in Mr. E's decision to actually just go to smash. Oh, he loves this stage. I know he loves this stage. Oh, you're dead. You're dead. And then the drift in under the yeah. stage so he doesn't hit Mr. E on the way up. He's got everything covered. He's systemic. Yep. But yeah, his tummy was hurting, though. His so. tummy was hurting. He's, he's, you know, he's maybe very, he's... He's a very sad boy right now. He's got a tummy ache. <laughs> maybe he needs a tummy ache more often, man. <laughs> yeah, if he's playing like this... It's like, like, I'm like, it's like MJ's flu game. <laughs> <laughs> the only way for Numbers to make himself feel better is through violence. That was really clean. I love that setup that he has on these types of things. <laughs> like I said... People will die. Sometimes you just need to let it swing. Like Numbers will execute his challenge, as uh, our good man Devin was saying earlier. Oh, numbers yeah. is stubborn. He's gonna, he's gonna do You're some dead. things. He's just gonna time, sometimes let it rip, particularly yeah. on offense. Ooh, that was such a good nair. Why? But also cool. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like I was trying to make sense of what was happening. Bear, oh, bear, good Early stuff. Bear. This is so within Mr. E's reach. Absolutely. Um, oh, the hunting of that backer was so nice. Gets another chance. Perfect hard header to send it straight down at your edge, and you're just gone. Double uh, dip. That's going in a clip compilation. Look at him shrug. Like what goes on in his head? And glutes. What goes on in his head? I. He's thinking about what he had for dinner last night. <laughs> Literally, he's thinking like, oh man, I wish I was playing Street Fighter right now. Me too, honestly. <laughs> Like, the way, like, here, 
Because if you... Oh, my God. There... I don't even... I mean, this okay. is just quintessential. So, okay, numbers, so here... Right? Wait, so... Wait, did Mr. E air dodge? Let's find out. Let's find out. I wish there was an indicator. Wait, so he gets hit. I'm rival's build. Okay, so he no, doesn't air dodge, back. so he nope. swings. He swung, yeah. But he, the thing is, he right? He swung and fast fell. So let's say... Um, let me do some. Let me do some art here. So let's say, Ooh. Mr. E air dodges right, and he goes down. Yeah. John can just cover. Yeah. If Mr. E hits the ball, then John can just go back to the ledge and throw another ball. It doesn't really matter what happens here, because if Mr. E, the easy way to the easy way is like you air dodge, or you yeah. air dodge in. But then numbers is positioned in a way where he has domain over like all of this. Um. And it's like crazy. You know, it's a very fun option. I, I had, did not know that existed. That's really wrong. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> uh, you learned something new today. Um, but yeah, I agree with you. Like the the fact that numbers numbers is taking a position and saying, "Hey, Mr. E, press a button or die." Yeah. And that type of initiative that you can take on, hey, if you don't do something, you die. But if you do do something, then I get to react to it, and you yeah. might still be dead. Like it's just the it's the definition of a checkmate. And what you can see here, John, he does this, and he drifts back, and he immediately starts charging Sun. So, like, even if Mr. E does the air dodge, right, he's still in a really bad Jeopardy zone where he doesn't, he's, like, forced to burn his resources in a really linear manner to get back to the stage. Yeah. So and we saw John capitalize on that multiple times throughout the set, and honestly, in mean, that game, he kind of dumps it. Oh, yeah. Pretty it bad. Was, it was nice. I, I, I'm so glad we caught this on video. This is during, by the way, a long edge guarding sequence. You see the oh, I'm still on highlighter. You see, <laughs> uh, kill me. The 96% here. This was multiple attempts where back airs were yeah. super deep, almost able to close down this stock. So the fact that John found the out, which was a sharp, sharp angle, hitting straight for ledge, a position of strength for Lucina where you see the ledge hang into the drop zone yeah. back air or the double jump back air. Like, that's such a good edge guarding route, especially with a disjoint. So John is snuffing out that yep. in the butt, allowing him to go to follow the ball and go straight to ledge. Yeah. It's also worth noting okay. you, the you're, reversal. Because you're talking about here about how, um, good you know, God. this is this is in the middle of a really extended edge guard sequence type of thing. Oh, beautiful. You, Mr. E, for how good Lucina is at, you know, dominating the offstage, right? Yeah. You have to <laughs> you have to be correct so many times in a row oh, yeah. as Lucina. You have to get around all the weep and stuff. You have to knock that hit by hula hoop. You have to dodge the header. You have to dodge the header. You have to dodge the header. Eventually, you get hit by one. That's a really funny pose. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, it's Number it's shrug. just we fit can just stack that we fit can kind of just stack those layers like very very quickly, and yeah. especially if you're gonna play in her position of strength, which is that offstage game. Which honestly, yeah. at some point, a lot of characters have to engage in that front. 